Hi, I'm Arif Khan, Product Marketing Director at Cadence. Welcome to our virtual demo at PCI SIG DEF CON 2021. IO bandwidth doubles nearly every three years. Staying ahead of this curve, the PCI specification has evolved and kept pace, and we're on track to ratify 6.0 this year. Cadence has been an active contributor to the SIG, and today we'd like to show you a few demos and highlights from our complete portfolio of IP and verification products that span all the way to PCI 6.0. Cadence IP for PCIe is designed for a wide application space and is extremely feature-rich. Our latest IP offerings for PCIe 6.0 bring together our silicon proven PAM4 solutions with our years of PCIe expertise. The Cadence PAM4 solution demonstrates BER exceeding the PCI 6.0 specification at 42 dB insertion loss demonstrating the robustness of the base technology. The TXI shows good linearity. Cadence's controller IP for PCI 6.0 builds on a legacy of high-performance architecture, bringing quad-issue superscalar design compared to standard PCI designs providing the highest performance at the lowest latency. The controller simulation shows EQ bypass to the highest rate going from 2.5G to 32G to 64G and then Gen 6 L0, and also shows legacy mode going through all rates from 2.5G to 64G, and then Gen 6 L0. Contact us for more information on our Cadence subsystem for PCI 6.0. Cadence's FI and controller IP for PCI 5.0 has been a tremendous success. Let's hear from Shamal Sivanandan. As you can see here, we have our PCI Gen 5 subsystem IP on a Cadence apps board. The interrupt test will be run on a BI-8 implementation. The host being used is the Intel Gen 5 server platform. As can be seen from our graphical user interface, we are currently at Gen 5 in L0 state. The iSurf feature on our IP is non-destructive and is running live during mission mode traffic. Finally, it can be seen from the link status on the server that we have linked up to Gen 5 by 8 in this demonstration, we will interrupt with the VRV Gen 5 exerciser and show the link performance of our IP. This is the VRV exerciser GUI, and as you can see, we are currently at Gen 1 by 8. I will now try to link up to Gen 5 by 8. On the screen, it's now clear that we are linked up at Gen 5 by 8, and we have no recoveries and no errors. From the count of the update FC packets, it can be seen that there's currently traffic ongoing between the exerciser and the endpoint, which is our IP. In this setup, we have the PCIe Gen 5 apps board connected to the Keysight BERT using a Tektronix compliance space board and an external ISI trace board. The Keysight BERT has been calibrated to PCIe Gen 5 specification using Valaframe software. As can be seen, we have linked up from Gen 1 to Gen 5, going through all the equalization phases, and from the BERT error count, we are currently running error-free. The graph on top shows the jitter tolerance result, and from that you can see we have significant margin over the entire swept SJ range. Next, we will run the RX LEQ using value frame, and from the result, you can see that we are running error-free for the duration that the test was run and we are passing the test. The final demonstration shows the output of our TX without de-embedding on the Keysight UXR scope with a data rate at 32 gigabits per second. Cadence's SPY and controller IP for PCI 3.1 and 4.0 have had a phenomenal run and wide adoption in the industry across multiple segments. Our FI IP for PCI 3.1 has over 5 billion lanes in production. As an industry leader and pioneer in PCI Express, Cadence's verification IP portfolio for PCIe is composed of a rich offering that spans the PCI base spec from Gen 1 to the latest PCI Gen 6 and beyond to CXL, NVMe, and C6. Cadence's portfolio includes bus functional models, a FI model that enables FI developers to verify and ensure that they are PCI compliant, and Triple Check. Triple Check is a comprehensive test platform that includes tests, coverage models, and a verification plan 
that spans the complete pro PCI protocol stack, enabling users to verify that their design adheres to the spec. Cadence's VIP for PCIe supports PCI 6.0 and is built on top of a portable and scalable infrastructure that supports all languages, simulators, methodologies, and was released earlier this year prior to official ratification. On top of an up-to-date, highly configurable feature offering, the Cadence VIP for PCIe offers new robust mechanisms for error injection. Introduced for Gen 5, the Waveform Debugger allows users to see all items of interest in their waveform for debug. The dynamic duo of Palladium and Proteum provide the most comprehensive solution for SOC design verification, hardware, and software regressions and early software development. Cadence has both virtual and physical interface solutions for PCI Express for both our Palladium and Proteum hardware platforms. Cadence's accelerated VIP solution for PCI Express provides a PCIe protocol transactor for use in Palladium and Proteum with UVM and C-based test benches for early IP and SOC-based verification. The PCIe AWIP supports up to Gen 5. The PCIe AWIP is used in combination with a virtual bridge for PCIe to provide a system-level solution for early application software and driver development. Our speed bridge for PCIe is a PCIe plugin card that provides speed adaptation from real-world clock speeds to emulation clock speeds. The PCIe speed bridge is packaged with our emulation development kit, a server that provides a data center-ready emulation-compatible, high-performance server for system-level testing and application software and driver development. Cadence has the deep expertise and pivotal leadership in PCIe, along with the broadest, most integrated design solution to bring intelligent system design to the products of the future. Visit us at ip.cadence.com to unleash your imagination and build products at the leading edge of technology.